brought up the point that when I was in school, I didn't um, think, I didn't, not that I didn't think, is this that I, I knew I wasn't good at writing. I knew I wasn't good at English. And so I ended up being that kid that when I went into, into my English class, I would put my head down. I would, um, I would act like I was sick, you know what I mean? Because I, I had this major fear of reading aloud. <laughs> I don't know if y'all ever, if you ever, if that's ever happened to any of y'all, but you know, when I would go, when I would just the thought about reading aloud would make me stutter, would make me fumble, and all of those different kind of things. And so um, I went most of my time in school just trying to um, avoid that. You know what I mean? I, I, any time I would go into any kind of reading class, and so. If you could imagine, that would make me suffer when it came to all of my other work, too, because I wasn't going to be at home reading when that was the very thing that brought me the most discomfort, you know. And uh, it, it took me to when I was about, I think, maybe 25 years old where, where I, I got over that. And it wasn't that I couldn't read. It was just that I had this, this complex about reading out loud. And a friend of mine, we ended up doing Bible study together. And when we did Bible study together, you know, she, she didn't laugh, she didn't snicker, you know, she didn't make any kind of, she just made me feel real comfortable. And before you knew it, I had came out of my shell. And so um, that was one of the biggest things that, 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 um, that, that, that really helped me to, to overcome that, you know what I mean? Really uh, um, leaving myself vulnerable uh, to another person, that was one of the major things because I had to leave myself vulnerable for that person to that person, which I hadn't done in years, because I was always busy trying to hide, trying to get away from reading out loud and things of that sort. Um, but I, I think I moved in a little quick. I want to ask first of all, do, does anybody in here have any like ambitions on being a writer or writing? Anything? You do? Okay. So so do you write now? Do you actively write now? Um, I'm not currently working on it. Okay. So you journal? Alright, so and, 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 and so um I I, I wasn't there, you know what I mean? Like I, I didn't want to be a writer. It wasn't something that I had set out to do. Um but when I got this idea, the idea came and it was it came so strong. And I believe we all have like something in us, you know what I mean? We have a, a we have content that we should provide. I always tell people Get your content out. If it if it if it's just writing, if it's uh, something through YouTube, if it's something through your social media, everybody has a story. Everybody has something that they need to say. And and as as long as you keep that content in, it, it it'll never be able to help who 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 it's supposed to help. And so what happened to me was here it is this idea that's this sitting right in front of me, and I'm like, okay, what am I going to do with this idea? Only thing I knew is I said, you know what, my sister, she loves to write, you know what I mean? Um, she went to school to be a journalist. Uh, you know, this is right up her, her, her field. So let me go to my sister and tell her about this idea that I have. And I said, hey, I want you to write this. It has to be done. And she said, okay, you know, I'll do it. And so we brainstormed. We came up with a couple of things. The next thing you know, uh, it, it wasn't getting done. So I kept coming and I kept coming. And this is like over a year's time. And so finally... I just said, okay, you know, I felt like God was telling me, because I'm a believer, I don't know what y'all don't believe, but I believe, I, I'm, I'm a believer, and I believe that this was something that was put in, put in me uh, from, 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 from God. And so I said, okay, so I felt, I, I heard like, you know, this is something that you're supposed to do. And so I started to do it, and now the next challenge is, is um, you don't know anything about writing, <laughs> you know. You don't know all the little tricks. You don't know all, you this and that, you know what I mean? And these were the kind of things that continued to try to hold me back, to, to stop me from doing it. But one thing that I do know is um, through, through, through past business ventures and things of that sort, that, that, you, that you should be working on whatever it is that you want to do, you should be working on that on a daily basis. You should be working, trying to research it, um, trying to interview other people, trying to, you know, pick people's brain who, who did it. And so one thing that I started to do is I started to reach out to people. I, I said, you know, well, these people put on writers' conferences. Let me reach out to them. Let me reach out to this person. Let me read this Reader's Digest. Let me read, you know, let me go to these different things. And before you know it, 
I'm start learning. I'm, I'm learning all of these different new things, like things like show and not tell. And if you as a writer, you probably understand show and not tell means that you're supposed to show in your writing more than you do your t in, 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 in your telling. See, what happens is for most people, we try to tell the story and we we tell it, but if you could show it, if you could put it into action form and show it. So that was one of the major things that I picked up right away. And um, and, 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 and this started to become more exciting for me. And so not only did I write that book, but I wrote another book, and then I wrote another book, and I wrote another book. And so here it is, I got like six pieces of work, and I'm like, wow, where's all this coming from, from this person who is not a writer? You know what I mean? Because I'm not a writer in a traditional sense, because I hadn't set out to, um, to, 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 to be a writer or to, um, to, to win some kind of uh, award or anything like that. But all of, this, all of this that was in me, all of this content that was in me, each and every one of y'all have a story. Each and every one ha has content. You know what I mean? If you, if you just go back and you start thinking about your life and thinking about the things you've experienced, you know, you could write tons of books. You know, and, and, and those books can help somebody. And so, and so for me, that was one of the things that happened. And um, I, I looked at different ways. I looked at traditional publishing. You know, um, I, I looked at um, the, the, the pros and cons of traditional versus self-publishing. I learned that self-publishing was um, a great way to go in, in, in today's climate because of what Amazon has done in the publishing field and things of that sort. And so what I so my next step I said okay because I'm a businessman I own my own businesses I ran my own business that's one of the things that brings me a lot of pleasure more than writing I like to do business and so I said you know what I'm going to start my own publishing company and I went and I started a publishing company called 215 Publishing uh, 215 Publishing I had to research more so I had to dig more I had to go into the LLC the Legal Legal Li Liability Corporation and and, and and before you know it, it was this all set up and it was sitting there and it was ready to go. And so I, I, I say that because we're talking about writing, but I think in anything that you want to do, anything that you have in your heart, anything that God has put in your heart, if you want to claim it to be the universe or whatever, you know, because we have, we all, we all pray to different things and believe in different ways. Whatever you want to say, whatever has been put in you, you know what I mean? Um, it's meant to get out of you, and the first thing that you have to do is you have to you have to say, okay, I'm willing to do it, and you have to willing to take that step. And so I had to start taking these steps, and then when I turned around two years later, I had this finished product. I had this finished product here called Bright and the Bully, and I mean it's it's a children's book, uh, but also I had a publishing company. I had different social media outlets, you know what I mean? I had a, whole, a, a huge buzz. I had all kind of people from all across the, the world, you know, um, reaching out, you know, want, wanting to buy my book, wanting to uh, get me to speak at places and talk at places and stuff like that. And I, I'm just like, man, like, you know, I, I didn't plan this. It wasn't planned, you know. And so um, I guess, like, that's this... Um, kind of my story in a way um, that I feel like far as in encouragement because I know that you all are, are at an age where you're going to be thinking about the future and what you're going to do. You know, it doesn't have to be writing, but whatever it is, you got to go with the same tenacity and you have to and you have to go with that same kind of mindset of working right away. Yeah, and, and feel free to ask questions at any time. You got a question? So um, who actually did the art for the book? Uh, and that, that's a good question because that was one of the other things that I um, that, that, that that was that I I had a challenge with at first because you know I I know a lot of people who could draw really well I had a good friend who who, who draws really well and I said okay <clears throat> I want you to d draw this book for me I want you to do this and 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 I paid him and and he started doing working on it but what happens was what what happened was was um. He was a great artist, but he wasn't capturing the, the illustration process in a way that I wanted it to be. And I didn't want my book to be just a, a little, a little, you know, fly by book. I wanted, to, I wanted to put a lot into it. And so, um, so 
I went on I went on this search and I started searching all over um, the internet. I started searching those same groups, the Facebook groups, YouTube, you know what I mean? Because anything you want, you can find on Google. And so pretty much I started searching all these different places and I ran into a guy and uh, and, 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 and this guy, he's actually from Singapore. You know, he's from Singapore and uh, he, he, he does really good work. And I said, you know what, I like, I like what you're doing. If you can draw me out a storyboard, I'll hire you. And, um, and he drew me out a storyboard, and me and him, we, we developed a good relationship. Matter of fact, I just watched his, um, I just watched his wedding um, a couple weeks ago uh, um, via live stream. You know what I mean? So it, it's actually helped me even get a, a, another connection from, a, from from somewhere else. You know, uh, but but he to answer your question, he's from Singapore. And uh, that's one of the most important parts when, when you're dealing with a kid's book is to, is to uh, actually make sure that the illustrator is, is uh, up to par. Because, you know, in, in children's books, of course you have the words, but the pictures is what really tells the story. And so a lot of the kids, say for instance my sister, she, her, 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 her child, her children, the ones that are five, they can read it great, you know what I mean? But the little girl, she's two or three now, she doesn't read as well or on the same level as them, but she still can understand everything just by seeing the pictures. And so, you know, that was, that was one of the things that, 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 um, that, that, uh, that, that was challenging in the beginning. And especially when you go and you start looking at illustrators, and the illustrators could cost from... I don't know, from a couple thousand to ten thousand, twenty thousand, just depending on who, who 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 you get who you get to do it. You know, the the more uh, known the illustrator is, the uh, the more it'll it'll um, it'll cost. Let's just say. Any any other questions? Like that? Any other things?